Hello children, myself is Shubhavi Pati Kukarni. I am going to continue arithmetic progression. First chapter, arithmetic progression. I am going to continue. Nine sums. In last video, I have done sums up to eight. Ninth question is ninth question. If the sum of first seven thousand and eighty is if So now you take out in these two 
steps now i am going to continue i am going to substitute this value in one of this equation then i am going to find the value of a i will have this part now this part so i will substitute the value of b in first equation equation number 1 so subtract equation 2 from equation 1 Now we'll continue. Tenth main question. In tenth main question, two questions are. 
two sub questions are there. So the tenth main question is tenth one show that tenth question is show that show that a one a two an up to an forms form an ap form an ap form an ap it forms an ap i am sure where a is defined as zero where where an is defined as zero is defined as Below. The term they gave first one they gave a is equal to three plus four n and second one is the same heading a is equal to nine minus five and also also find. Also find the sum of also find the sum of first sum of first fifteen terms first fifteen terms in each case. So now. So fifteen I got. 
common difference therefore common difference d is equal to 4 is same between common difference or you can write it common difference is same between any two terms here that is common difference I will write here only common difference d is equal to 4 I got so therefore if the difference between any two terms is same so it forms an AP therefore it forms an AP it forms an AP it forms an AP so that it forms an AP yeah I have proved now so if the difference between I uh, I form first first term second term third term of this AP and I put the, the difference between any two terms is same so it forms an AP then I will find out now what values I know by seeing this AP now? A value I come to know 7, B value 4. But what I will find out now? Sum of 15 terms. Sum of 15 terms is n becomes 15 then. So find out sum of. Find the sum of. Find the sum of 15 terms means SN is equal to n by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D. So substitute the values now, yes, 15, n value 15 is substitute, 15 by 2, so then 2, a value 7 I know now, plus n value we know 15, minus 1, d value 4, substitute and simplify, 15 by 2, 7 2s are 14, 14 4s are, so then now we can simplify, 15 by 2, 14, 14 goes on. 56. Then add both. You get 6 plus 4 is 10. 17. So you can cancel now. 2 ones are 2 threes are 2 fives are. So multiply 15 into 35. So sum of 15 terms of the CP you get 15 into 35. You multiply sign and you write the value. What is the sum of 15 terms of the CP? 15 into 35. You will get 15 into 35 as 525. You will get 525. You can multiply side and you can check. So, take note for us to find the sum of 15 terms. I got the 15 terms sum as 525. They told for us to show this. It forms the end term of the CP. It forms an AP. I prove by finding all three terms of an AP and I have to prove it uh, the difference between any two terms should be same that is D value it is same here so it forms an AP after finding the value of A, D and N then we can find the sum of 15 terms by using the formula SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D by using the same method the same uh, but the N term is different so second one the method is same I have to solve the same method Right on chin. Chidal, second one, A is equal to 9 minus 5 minus. Do it as a homework. Chidal, please do this second one as homework and that is in no happiness. Thank you.